So in the past few days, certain decisions made by our government has led to fear amongst Muslims from various countries, from all countries, from those particularly who are in the affected countries and other countries as well. So the first thing for us to realize is that this is something that was promised by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that there will be tests of fear. Doesn't mean that it's okay and what happens is we become complacent and say it's, it's right as well. Na'udhu billah, it is very wrong. Everyone who is entering this country should be vetted equally to maintain the safety of this country. But to single out Muslim nations and to single out Muslims and say that they deserve special attention, of course this is wrong. We have to speak out against this injustice. But at the same time, we will have failed in this test and trial if we begin to doubt our own deen and if we begin to leave our own practice of Islam. Beyond this executive order, people on social media, they continue to pass to each other different acts, random acts of intolerance that is being shown and different attacks from people, different negative comments that are being passed, placed on people's homes, doors, on their cars, or different incidences of Islamophobic attacks that people are facing. So this is one side. At the same time, my dear friends, we should realize that there are a great number of good people in this country that are coming out and supporting Muslims and supporting Masajid even though they have no reason to. They are being bombarded by the social media and by the media and the news and the television and all the media outlets against Islam. And this is the position that the new government is also holding from the president downwards and all his appointed staff. Yet Alhamdulillah, there is still such goodness in people that they are coming out in support of Muslims in large numbers. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is showing us both sides of the people. There is a small minority of people who harbor hate in their hearts. But at the same time, there is a vast majority of the people, Alhamdulillah, and the majority has khair and goodness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us an opportunity. We have to take this as an opportunity. Rather than becoming depressed and saddened by the conditions that are taking place, let us take this as an opportunity that now Islam is becoming a topic of discussion where the Muslims are not being portrayed as the aggressor, as the terrorist, but rather we are now being portrayed and we are now being realized by many people as the victims of injustice. So this is an opportunity for us to grab and to inshallah lead the discourse, lead the conversation in whichever environment we are in, then we can start speaking about Islam. For this, we have to, on our own, become confident regarding our faith. We have to, ourselves, learn about our deen. How are we going to be able to speak about Islam, speak about Muslims, speak about justice in Islam, if we ourselves are ignorant? That is why, let us all make it our goal to, inshallah, start studying the deen, seriously. This is now the opportunity, if never before, that we start studying the deen, gain knowledge about the deen, so that we can speak to people in an educated manner. We can actually dispel the myths that people have and all of the misinformation that is being spread. My dear friends, the reality is collectively as an ummah, we have been taking things very relaxed. We have been concerned only about our physical needs and that of our children, our worldly needs, our education of ourselves and our children, our worldly education, our homes, our businesses, our work, our income, our families. But beyond that, we did not necessarily develop a genuine concern for the Muslim Ummah. And if all of these attacks are happening on the Muslim Ummah, and all of the negative propaganda is being spread about the Muslim Ummah, and the tide is turning against the Muslim Ummah, and if we still don't change our behavior, don't wake up from our sleep of ghafla, from our sleep of heedlessness, and our lack of concern, our complete apathy to the situation, then فَلَا يَلُومَنَّ إِلَّا نَفْسَهُ We cannot blame anyone but ourselves. The matter might get from difficult to worse. Then what will happen to us? So let us inshaAllah wake up, make our deen our objective in our life, and become committed to serving the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in whichever way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes it possible for us. And overcoming whatever differences we have amongst the masajid, amongst the Muslim institutions, uniting our efforts together, amongst the Muslims and also with such non-Muslims 
who have good will for Muslims and who have good intentions for Muslims and who have good hearts and good feelings, then we also have to unite with them together to speak out against what's happening and to take action. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow this as an opportunity for us to gain our Jannah and to become amongst the servants of the deen and not among those who fail in this test and then lose out on our deen. Wa akhru da'awana alhamdulillah.